and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to the video. If I sound a bit bunged up, I am unfortunately. I actually caught a cold. I don't normally, but my snout has found a disease. Anywho, today we are going to do a pink party look because I am going to do, 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 do I am going to the Weight Watchers WW Christmas party dinner and I thought I'd just glam it up. Show them that you can wear glam during the day. So let's get going and I shall show you through the process. first glasses off oh and i've got a little friend here look uh, and i left my hair up out the way right today we are going to um i might put me mm, do i put my face on after i don't know I, I think i will i'll put my face on afterwards um but i'm going to use the slush palette from september rose because I can't get back in it. It has these delightful pinks here, look. And I thought I'd use a few rhinestones, a bit of glitter. Let's go all in. So, first things first, prime my eyes. And I forgot it. There it is. Here is the shadow insurance from Too Faced, as normal. We shall stick that up there. Let's put this on. And I just realised I have not done my brows. I'll be back in a minute. And there we go. They're not the best eyebrows in the world, but we are going to do something a little different with them later. And I used the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie and the Brown Quickie, Brow Quickie, just for something to use today. Right, so in with the shadows. I haven't set my primer because I thought we could use these wonderful colours here. There will be a swatch video of the palette eventually, but we're going to go in with this light pink here. I have never used this palette, so let's just see how it gets on. And it's pigmented. This is certainly pigmented, and especially if you don't set your... Um, eyeshadow primer and I'm just tapping it on because I haven't set my eyeshadow primer so I'm going to do a large crease just popping in the colour like so because there we go we set down some colour I didn't want to do um, a sweeping motion because as you know a sweeping motion and you haven't set the colour down it will just stick in the same place anywho so I'm going to take a blending brush which is a nice soft tart one here and we'll go into the little bit this is awkward palette to hold this one here and we'll go into that one a little bit darker one tapity tap and pop it into the crease a little bit further down and then go into the bottom one which is called sour cherry just to darken it off a little bit more just layering up those colours uh, shades we say not colours layering, layering up those shades just so you've got that nice base I'm going to put a little bit more in here you know what I have not used this palette yet and uh, colour payoff is rather nice I'm going to go back in with the blending brush just to blend up the colour. That's better. Here, just in the corners here. If you can have a corner of an eye. And then I'm going to take a tickly brush and go in with the white, which is called coconut milk, just to blend those edges out because, you know, Kazzy, Kazzy doesn't tend to blend. I tend to just stick the colour on. That's a little bit better. Right, and then we're going to go in with a more squidgly brush. And we're going to go in with a deeper 
pink, which is cherry limeade. Cherry limeade. Okay. And we're just going to pop that into the outer V. That's an awful brush. Let's get a different one. That's better. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> we shall leave it for now. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this, which is the Stilla Kitten Karma. Little tiny one. And it comes off like so. Which is nice, pinky, lighter pink colour. And I'm just going to pop this on the inner bit of my... Oh my God, that is so pretty. Of my eye. And just make a cut crease with it. I am lazy when it comes down to cut creases. And I find this is an easy way of doing it using these glitters. Very pretty. And while that's dry, I do have this. I'm going I'm to be a one-eyed pirate. It's the Body Shop. Last year they came out with them. And it's a little glitter. Look at that. How pretty. And I'm just going to tip some out on my finger. And dab some on. And that's all I'll use. I just go like that, look. Tip some out on my finger and dab some on while it's still wet. Just to give it like the kitten cam is a bit goldy. And I want pink glitter. Like so. And I'm going to use the little squidgily brush. Just to dab it into that corner bit. Just to make it a little bit more pinky. And I've got glitter everywhere. All of my face and everything which is why I didn't want to do my face first <laughs> so you got something like that and then I'm just going in with the cherry limeade again uh, the darker shade just to take that corner back if you like I want that corner back it stole my corner just to bring that darker shade back in and then take the tickly brush and just sweep it all together something like that there that is sparkly weight watchers are going to wonder what's gone on with her today <laughs> i don't care we'll pop that to one side because we are now going to do um a little bit of the face now we've got the glitter out of the way and we're going to use a few other bits. So for my face, I, what shall I use? I don't know. I really don't know. I think I'm going to use one of my favourites, which is the Primed and Peachy from Too Faced, along with the Peach Perfect Foundation. So let's just get into that. And then we're going to set with a little bit of the Kat Von D Fair in the, what's it called? Lock it. And we're just going to lock it in. Something like that. Look, glitter everywhere. Right. For contour today, I'm going to go in with the Coca contour from Too Faced, just to chisel out my cheeks. I like using the medium one at the top. It smells delightful. Mmm. Chisel those cheeks out. And then for bronzer, I'm going to use the dark cocoa, but only very sparingly. Pop, 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 pop. And just bronze up the rest of the face. Like so. I oh, know where to put things. There we go. And for blush, I'm going to use, I'm going to get into it, 
this bright pink shade just ha huh, out of my blush bliss from last year yeah i like this one just a rosy up the cheeks just a tiny bit and then the best bit the highlighter i'm going to go in with the naked illuminated luminos from naked oh from let's start again urban decay <laughs> and i'm just going to grab a bit of that and just show it on my cheeks so a nice and sparkly like so there we are put the brush away Kaz right there we go now on to we're just going to do a little bit of a spray because I like to set the powders in Mario Badescu as you may have already gathered so we've got something like that at the moment. I enjoy this. Now underneath, I thought we'd go with a little brush back into the palette. And we're going to take this nice rosy shade here. I don't know, the pink. Let's go for the bright pink one in the middle, which is Pink Lemonade. And we're just going to do the outer V to tie in. Oh, that's nice and bright. Just to tie in the outer edge. And then we'll take a smaller brush and take the light shade we used originally and just feather that into the corner. And I have still got an amount of glitter everywhere. I like being sparkly sometimes. As you may have seen on previous videos, I don't always like to be sparkly. Right. Now I keep saying we're going to do something a little different. That is the eye look with the eyeshadow. Now let's play with some of these. I got these from a pack for a pound from the this works. There look. And I thought they're fun. Oh yes, we've got to be playing with some of them. So let's stick some on. Now they are yeah. Are they already sticky? Oh, how much fun is this going to be? I don't know how they're going to stick. So, what I'm going to do, I found an old bottle. It's not old. It's not as old as the last one I tried. But I found a bottle of this, which is the Eyler glue. And it's got a nice, thin spatula on the end. And what I'm going to do is just blob across the top in equal spaces what i was thinking is <laughs> if i don't get my hung drawn and quartered it would help with sticking these along the brow bone which i thought was a bit of fun i might have got that a little bit need to be a bit higher there fun what fun um and I'm going to use this. Um, you may have seen it before. The Double Team Urban Decay Pink um, Mascara. And I'm just going to use some of the... I might use the bright one, actually. The other end. Yes, maybe. We're just playing. And I'm just going to put that into my brows. Just to sparkle up. The, oh, yes. I like that. It's better than the brown. <laughs> Can I do that with this in? I'm not too keen on them. But then we're going to use the eyelure and we're just going to pop a blob in the corner and we're going to take these and pop them on the floor <laughs> oh let's try that again right and pop these I'm all fingers and thumbs 
There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get in. I did it. <laughs> there we go. I just wanted a rhinestone in the corner just to make it ding in the corner. I don't like it running along the top, um, but I do like my pink eyebrows. <sighs> but I didn't like this running along the top unless I just put a few on the outer edge. It's all trial and error, isn't it? Right, I've decided this is what I'm going to do. And I think we'll go in with a black just to give it some contrast on the lower lash line because I cannot see my lashes at all. And the mascara I am using is a very nearly used up body shop lash hero um, because I thought it would be a little bit safer to use a nearly used up mascara on the lower lash line so we don't splodge it everywhere now for my upper lashes I am going to use the code um, code mascara primer on top of that pink that we've already laid down I couldn't really see that pink. Do you love how unorganised and planned I am? <laughs> but anyway, we always come up with a nice pretty look eventually. <laughs> Even though we go around the houses a little. And then straight in with a black, I think. And we'll use the Lash Hero again. So it doesn't splodge everywhere. Because it's quite a good mascara. Here we go. Eyelashes on. So I say, let's have a go. Oh, first time. And oh yes. Just gives that little bit of black flutter into the corner of the eyes. You don't have to put eyelashes on. If you don't like putting eyelashes on, don't. And I'll just pop this one on. And there you go. And you know I had to. I had to put some black liner into my waterline. I just had to. <laughs> I think it just gives you that, I don't know, um, ring around the eyes. And I think I like this with the lashes. Yay! We got there in the end, didn't we? Mm, very party. I wonder what the Weight Watchers ladies, because most of them are over 60. So let's see what they think to this look. Now, on the lips, because I am going to be eating a three course Christmas dinner, I think, if I remember rightly, I've got parsnip soup, my favourite, and then the full traditional Christmas dinner, and then a cheesecake. I can't remember which cheesecake, but cheesecake, hey who, I don't care. So this is the finished look, and I'm going to top it off with... Uh, Sweet Tooth, which is the Jeffree Stars. Have we got a little... Does it actually say Jeffree Star on here? But anyway, it's the Jouer Jeffree Star Lip Topper. And we're just going to put that on. Mm. It's a lip topper, but I don't want something... I don't know, we're going to be eating, so I wanted to put this lip topper on just to uh, put something on my lips and I can take it with me. Yes, sparkly! Take that with me. <laughs> so here is the finished look. It's Please excuse my lazy bag eyes, but here is the finished look. Oh yes, so we're going to have my hair down. <laughs> um... Which I don't know is the best thing on, to do or not, really, when you're eating. Do you want your hair down? Mm, it looks better with my hair down. I might put the front up. What do you think? But anyway, here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love this look. I think it's absolutely... Oh, I don't usually wear pink. And I just think this is a fantastic. Yay! I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. 
faffing with my hair leave it alone um please like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more crazy antics like this <coughs> excuse me and um i'm gonna go eat my free course dinner now see you in my next video thank you for watching bye